If you want more business, showcasing customer testimonials can really help. But trying to get them to leave a review, let alone record a video testimonial, is actually very hard. That's why I've been testing out a new AppSumo lifetime deal called Feedspace, and it's essentially a testimonial collection software. Um, this tool is actually one of the best AppSumo lifetime deals I've come across in 2025. In this feed space review, I'll let you know why this is one of the best deals I've came across this year, and also let you know why tier four is a must buy, and also share a couple of weird flaws I came across that you need to be aware of before you decide on whether or not this is a right tool for you. By the way, if you are looking for quality tools that you could use to grow your business, I have my private Notion doc of my must-have SaaS tools for digital entrepreneurs. Um, I've used all of these tools in my business. Um, I highly recommend these tools. If you want free access to this document, um, just click the link down in the description below. Okay, so Feedspace is back on AppSumo. Now, I highly recommend getting licensed tier four, mainly because of the API and webhook access. Now, there are tons of things you can do with this feature, and I'll show you how you can incorporate uh, webhooks into your um, processes to make sure that everyone who leaves you a review can get followed up with. So this is the main view, they call it the feed box. So this is a list of all of your reviews that you've imported. Now there are a couple of ways to collect reviews. You can collect by forms or by importing them. Now, if you want to import them, you can do a self-import. So if you want to import a text review, you can essentially create that entire review by filling out this form right over here. Or you can import reviews from all of these sources. And as you could see, there are tons of sources, um, other platforms as well. And if you scroll to the bottom, you can see that you can migrate reviews from Senja, Testimonial, Famewall, Shoutout, and if there are other platforms you want, you can add that domain right here and request to have that added to this list. So if you want to import all of your Google business reviews, you just add the URL to your business profile right here, and then it'll instantly crawl all of those reviews and then you can immediately import them and you'll see all of them right over here. And then you could see the Google icon um, indicating that these do come from your Google business profile. Another way to collect reviews is through forms. To start, just click on new form. And then what you could do is enter a form prompt to have the Feedspace AI build out the entire review form for you. And that's essentially what I did. So the prompt I gave it was this example. So I said, make video and text review form for my online tutoring business. And this is the review form that it created for me. Now, everything you see here, I actually didn't add myself. The only thing I added was my company logo, but all of this text, the background, the GIF was generated by the AI. So this is the main uh, welcome page. You can switch out the content on the uh, right-hand side right here. So there are five ways you can have a customer um, share their experience, okay? So they can record a video, um, share their screen, uh, record audio, uh, record text, and also have them upload files. So this is great for pre-recorded media files. So if they want to record um, a video on their phone, for example, and then upload it, um, this will allow them to do just that. Right now, there's three options I've toggled on. So they can record a video, audio, or write a text review. And then let's go to the next step, which is uh, capture, so you could see right here. So this is the capture page. So there's three different media duration options. There is one minute, three minutes, and five minutes. Now this is important to know because depending on which tier you get, you will be limited. So tier one, the max media duration is one minute. And then tier two through four, it's three minutes. I have tier four. And if you get the highest tier, um, people can record up to five minutes. 
So I selected three minutes here. You can also record a star rating or have them select a thumbs up or a thumbs down. You can also do a smart redirect to a Google review as well. So you can redirect your customer to give Google review if they click on fourth or the fifth star. And then this is the button label and then the user instructions. And then for the third step, this is the user info. So after um, you capture their review, then they need to fill out this form for more information about themselves. So their name, email, what their role is, so on and so forth. And then you can toggle on or off any of these form fields. And after they fill out this uh, user info form, then they go to the thank you page. And this thank you page was built through the AI along with the capture and the user info. Again, I didn't add anything, change anything. The AI basically did everything for me, including the design as well. So the background, it selected this orange background. There's a handful of other very eye-catchy backgrounds you can select. You can also do a background image that you upload from your computer and a lot of other really nice design options you can select to make sure it fits your brand. And what I did was I did upload my own company logo, which is at the top right over here. And then for the branding, so I did add my own custom domain and I also removed the Feedspace branding. So if you toggle that off, you could see the Feedspace branding right here. If you toggle it on, it'll be removed. And then you could see the custom domain right here. So reviews.leetagger.com, that is my custom domain. Now regarding the custom domain, you do need tier three or higher. And then the last step is to share. And there's a variety of ways you can share this form to collect your reviews. So you can share manually by uh, copying this link. You can download this QR code. Now this is great for brick and mortar businesses. Maybe if you are a dental office or a restaurant, you can print out this QR code, put it on the table in the front office and have people scan this QR code to leave their review right there and then. You can also embed uh, the form to your website and I'll show you how the embed looks like in a moment. And you can also share the form via email. So as you can see, the UI, the UX is, I think, A plus for Feedspace. It's very easy to use. I really was not confused in any step. I knew exactly what to do. And within a few minutes, you have your review form up and running. So this is one of the reasons why I think this is one of the best deals I've come across this year on AppSumo. Now let me fill out this review form so you know exactly how it works. So you can record a video testimonial and then it looks like this. Now, when you click on record, it immediately records. Now, one thing I wish was that it included like maybe a three second countdown. So it kind of makes you prep and be ready. But when you click on record, it instantly records. Another thing I wish this video option had was the ability to maybe add a star rating and also add text as well. But if you do this record route, the only thing you can do is record the video and that's it. Now, when it comes to writing, your review, you can leave a star rating and then submit your testimonial so you can write anything you want. So I can say, I really love this service. And then you can submit your testimonial and then you fill out this form. All right. And then you click on submit. And this is the thank you page. Now, if you remember, I did toggle on the remove feed space branding. So there's no feed space branding, but there is this call to action right here. So there technically still is feed space branding. So it says sign up to feed space and start collecting reviews with your free form. Now I tried going through the settings and I couldn't find a way to remove this call to action this branding piece right here. So this is one annoying um, issue that I came across that you need to be aware of. Now, when someone fills out that review form, you do get an email from Feedspace and it gives you all of the reviewer information in the email. So it's easy to get instantly notified whenever someone leaves you a review. Now, once you collect all of your reviews, then you can share your reviews. So you can share them in two main ways through pages and widgets. So to create a page, we can click on this button here and then we can select all the reviews we want to add to our page. 
And then we can design the page. So this is the wall of love page. So this is a video that I recorded earlier. So this is how the video will look like in your wall of love. Now actually let me select more reviews so you can see how the wall of love looks like when it's more full. So I'm going to click on save and next. And now you could see more reviews in this wall of love. You can also update the content of this page as well, like the page title, the description. You can incorporate a CTA button. There's also advanced customization settings as well. You can display the ratings, and I think most of us definitely want the ratings. Enable read more, and also customize all of the colors, so on and so forth. So once you design and customize your wall of love, then you have the option to change the order of all of the reviews. Then you can set the branding, right? So if you wanted a custom domain, and if you want to remove the feed space branding, you can toggle that on as well. And then lastly, you can share your wall of love by sharing the link, QR code, and embedding it on your website. So you can copy and paste this HTML code. You can also share it on uh, your Framer website and via Next.js as well. And the second way to share is through the various widgets. And they do have tons of different uh, widget styles, as you could see right here. So there's many ways you can showcase all of your reviews. And you can pick the one that best fits your website. Okay, so there's Carousel, Masonry, a strip slider, Avatar Group. I think this one is pretty cool. I also like the floating cards as well. I did create two, so this one is the masonry widget. So you first need to select your reviews and then you customize how your masonry widget looks like. And then you can order the reviews and then lastly is share it. And I did share this on my WordPress website. Now the other day I did a Nexter review and demo. So this is actually my Nexter template that I um, showed you in that review. And at the very bottom, I added the feed space masonry uh, widget. Okay, so I added this heading here, and this is from feed space. Okay, so you could view all of the reviews, and this is a video that I recorded. Let me play it. Hey, I just wanted to say I absolutely love his training. I learned tons, and if you are on the sidelines, I dug. Okay, so that's the video that you can watch on your website. Now, if you want to check this out on your own computer to see whether or not this looks good, um, you can go to my Nexter review video. And in the description, I included a link to this Nexter template. So you can go to this website, scroll to the bottom and check out this feed space widget right here and see whether or not you like it. Now let's go to the very powerful part of this tool and that is under automation. So if you want to get notified whenever someone submits a review, you can set up any of these automations right here. So you can connect your Slack, so you'll get a Slack message whenever someone leaves a review. Also a message on Telegram, Discord, WhatsApp. You can also set up a workflow with your Notion. You can also connect Giftogram. So whenever someone leaves a review, you can automatically send them a gift, like maybe a $10 Amazon gift card, for example. And you can also back up your reviews into Google Drive and also Dropbox. Now, since I have tier four, I do have these options, including the API and also the webhook. Now, there's three ways this webhook can get triggered. So whenever you get a text review, video review, and an audio review. And I did set this up in AutoKit. So I did create a webhook trigger and I added this webhook URL right over here. So Feedspace will push all of the review information through this webhook URL. And then what I did was connect my MailerLite. And when it comes to the type of content that you can collect from Feedspace, via the URL. You can collect their name, email, whether or not it's a text, video, or audio, the domain they were on, so on and so forth. So these are all of the bits of information you can pull from Feedspace and push 
into basically any tool. Um, one of the more popular options would be maybe an email autoresponder like what I did. Now what's cool is you can create a condition here inside AutoKit where the data response value, so this is the number of stars, either one through five stars. So I can create a condition where if the stars is lesser than three, I can add them to a specific list inside my MailerLite. So these people that leave a bad review, I can email them and let them know that, hey, sorry, how can we make this right? Maybe I can offer them a coupon that they can use to try out my services again. Maybe great for restaurants. Now, if um, they write a review that's maybe four or five stars, what I could do is put them in a different mailing list and thank them for their review and maybe offer them other services, maybe offer them a coupon as well so they can come into my business, come into my restaurant again and do more business with me. So as you could see, a lot of great ways you can use the webhook or the API if you know how to do that and also these automations to improve your overall workflow and make sure you are serving your customers at the highest level. Now, if you have tier three or higher, you do get one custom domain and it was very easy to set up the custom domain. It's basically a two-step process. Um, I did this in five minutes and everything was set up perfectly. You can also set your branding assets right here so you can upload your logo, all of your company colors. And what you could also do is add your company URL right here and then fetch the assets. Now I did try this earlier, but I came through an error. I got an error, so it wasn't able to fetch my website. Um, so this didn't work when I tried it, but you can manually add all of your colors, so on and so forth. And you can also invite team members. So I did invite this team member and they are an admin, they are active, I can delete them. So when it comes to the roles, you can have them be an admin, an editor, or a viewer. So as you can see, I think this is such a great uh, tool. Um, the UI, the UX is, I think, excellent. It's very easy to use. So if you are a business that wants to collect customer reviews, especially video reviews, I think Feedspace is a great tool that you can invest in in your business. And if you want those automations that I showed you, I highly recommend uh, Tier 4, which will unlock the API and webhook access.